Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little different. It's going to be about my skin. And I have a skincare regimen video that I put up a while ago. But that's actually just disregard that. Um, because I'm definitely changing stuff up. I thought I found something that would work for me. But after trying what I tried there, it's not really working. It's not really giving me the results that I wanted or thought I would have. So I'm going to move on to something a little stronger. And I've been doing a lot of research about this and I'm um, studying and I actually saw a post last night on KISS and it was a lady who had written um, about the fact that she had acne scarring and she was looking for something that could help her and she's tried everything and I'm kind of in that same boat. You can't really see that much but and I because I have the makeup but I, I have a lot of acne scarring all here and a little bit over here and some on my forehead and I'm I'm just prone to breakouts prone to pimples and I've always had skin like this I've always battled pimples and I thought it was um, as a result of puberty but it just turns out that my skin is just really bad and I have seen dermatologists and they have prescribed me things and after a while my skin gets used to it even though I use it consistently and it becomes a matter of just controlling it and I don't want that I want to be able to have good skin in general like I don't want pimples to just randomly show up even though I'm washing my face consistently so um, I decided to look for things that are not so expensive that I could do and um, some lady recommended a glycolic peel and I don't know if everybody has heard about it but that's basically the stuff that people use in um, if you go to a plastic surgeon they do like a chemical peel of your face and I've always been very very scared of stuff like that but um I've been seeing a lot of reviews and a lot of um, thoughts and stuff about like lower percentages of glycolic acid in the stuff that you use so it's more like a gradual thing so you do a couple of treatments and I was looking at stuff online last night and trying to see what exactly I should purchase and I decided that um, I would purchase something in the Olay line because it looks like it's a lot um, less harsh than um, a lot of the other raw glycolic acids I just put on my face. So I was a little skeptical about that. So um, instead of ordering it, I hung on and I went to the drugstore today and I picked up two Olay brand things. The first thing I picked up was, came in this box. I know there's nothing in there, but this is the Microdermabrasion Peel in One System and it says it resurfaces skin's texture, activates surface cell renewal, balances skin tone, regenerates skin appearance, and that also helps with um, the acne scarring. So apparently once the skin peels off, like the bad skin, the new baby skin underneath shows up and it's supposed to be a lot better. I hope this really works because I am so frustrated. And the other thing I got is the Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging. Well, that's what it says, but it's the resurfacing elixir and it's for the night. And it's um, a light gly glycolic peel resurfacing skin nightly for tighter, smoother skin. So they're kind of the same thing. And I, I kind of want to just do the peel first and see how that works before I use the um, night cream because I don't know how strong they actually are. So here's what comes in the microdermabrasion peel kit this one is the um the treatment with the crystals and i'll show you guys what it looks like inside it's orange it smells like citrus so it has like little fine crystals and i've been watching a bunch of reviews about this online so that's the first part and you massage that in for a minute apparently and then you use this which is supposed to be the activator the peel activator serum with lactic acid so i'm going to go ahead and do that and tell you guys after trying it out my my initial thoughts and then I'll continue on with the series about my skin and how successful I am with this um, yeah I'll, I'll do that and then also I will do this this is more like a nightly cream thing nightly treatment thing and you put it on and you let it at least dry for five minutes and apparently people see good results from this but this one you use like once uh, every two weeks two times every week yeah I'll see how this works um, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some taking of before and after pictures so that I can see exactly what my skin looks like and I kind of I kind of want to start with this and see 
instead of but I don't know I don't know if I should mix them I'm not quite sure I don't want anything too harsh on my skin so today I'll just do this and then um, since I only use that once every I'll try to use that once a week but I'll try to use this for the rest of the days and see how see how everything works out so I hope it really works because I'm really frustrated with my skin I know a lot of people out there suffer with the same problem and they've gone from stuff to stuff and I can't afford going to a surgeon or somebody who's um, a professional to do this for me so I'm just gonna have to settle for the rest of the methods that everyone else uses and plus I don't want to end up like with a freaking red face for a week this one seem these ones seem like they do it over time and it's more of a uh, it's not as harsh of a result I know the other ones give you like an instant result but I don't think I'm ready for all that but um, I'll let you guys know how that works I guess I'll entitle this part one and when part two comes out you'll see um, what I've been doing I'll, I don't know if I'm gonna give you guys a week update or a month update or how I'm gonna do it yet but I'll take some pictures and I'll show you guys what my skin looks like before or after so um, yeah I can't tell you right now but that's what I'm doing for the moment alright so I'll talk to you guys on the next video